hilarious, and he's coming all the way from Montclair. Give it up for Natty Bumper Carter. This over here. So I'm Maddie Bumper Car, and this over here, this is Pig. Everybody say hi to Pig. Hi, Pig. Hi, Pig. Hi, Pig. Hi, Pig. Hi, Pig. Good. You guys are good. The topic for tonight's show is the heatness, the hotness, the hootness. Why, just the other day, I went to the store and I got an icy, and by the time I got to the car, you guys, it was just an E. <laughs> because the ice had melted, because it's just that hot. And just this morning, <laughs> I wanted a piece of toast. I know you're thinking to yourselves, why would you want a piece of toast on a hot day like today? Well, that's because I like my bread like I like my ladies. Hot and crusty. With no seeds on them, sometimes with a little slathering of butter, maybe some jam or jelly. With the sides cut off, and sometimes cut up into little triangles. I'm talking about bread. Stop looking at me like that. Actually, you're smiling. You keep looking at me like that. So I went to the toaster. And I, I put the, the bread in the toaster, because that's what you do, and I hit start, and it started making a mm -hmm noise. If you guys have a joke for the class, I'd like for you to tell it to everyone. Anybody? I saw you passing notes over there too, Pat, so, no, I um, So I put the bread in the toast, and it made a mm -hmm noise, and that's what toast is supposed to, toaster does, but I noticed it wasn't getting hot, and so I went over, and I said, I said hey, toaster, what you doing over here? And I said, mm, you know, Maddie, it's really, really hot today. Maybe we, uh, maybe we don't make a toast today. Maybe we take a little day off, take a little break, a little vacation, you know? And I was like, you know what we're going to do? You're going to give me my bread back, and I'm going to find somewhere else to make toast. And what I did is real quick, because I'm slick like this, I slipped it into the other side, and I hit start real quick. Did they think I confuse it? And it was just like, hey, mom, why don't you go and put this bread in me, mom, like this, huh? I should let you guys know, half of my toaster is Italian, half of it's Jamaican. I actually don't have any kind of a joke for this, but it's a perfect opportunity for all of you, audience, because you're now part of the official Finish That Italian Jamaican Toaster Natty Bumper Car Joke. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Where you can win such luxurious prizes as uh, Dinner of Pig. What? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Dinner with pig! If you want to actually eat pig, I'm going to ask that you not put yourself into the sweepstakes because, as all of you know, pig is our best friend and we don't want to eat him. Speaking of best friends, I was walking my dog, Irving Brown Socks, the other day. <laughs> Here's a photograph that I took of him. He's a very happy dog, you can see. And I noticed that the leash was getting very loose, and I turned around. You're laughing, but it was the most horrible thing I've ever seen. My best furry friend had melted into these little... It's so hot! Did I mention that it's hot? He melted into these little black blobs of fur and goop. I have a picture of that also. This is what he looked like. And the saddest part... Look at my hand. It's all shaky. I'm afraid of you guys. Um, you can see his tail was still there and it was wagging. And I knew at that point that it was all going to be okay. And so I turned and I started scooping him up, because that's what you do when your friend melts. And then I turned and I noticed there was a set of stairs. And I don't get angry much, I'm not an angry person, but I was just like, you know what, you stairs, staring at me, staring at this situation, being stares. Why don't you take some sort of a picture, you know, the whole picture last long, whatever it said. I was about to step to these stairs. Get that? And then, I thought I had a pretty good case for having a fight. Like a staircase. And, because this set of stairs was really railing against me and my pal. Like a railing on a set of stairs. Uh, but I had to take flight. Because I had, and this is kind of creepy, I had goopy balls of dogs slipping out of my hands. Because he had melted. I don't know if I talked to you about that part. This is bad. And so we got back to headquarters, Sox and I, and I put, I put him back together. His, his snout was a little askew. His, uh, his ears were a little asunder. And... Um, <laughs> That's your water cooler joke for tomorrow. <laughs> then he said asunder. No, um, 
but I think I'm in a contest about a pig. No. Um, and so I put them back together, and I'm trying to bring a little levity to the situation because he had a real hang dog look about him. And um, I said, gee, Socks, you know, you really were a hot dog today. Because I like wordplay. Who doesn't? He doesn't. Uh, he immediately tendered, sorry, pig. He immediately tendered his resignation. So, in a, in a down economy like this, my dog quit. So, my last thing that I need to ask you guys, it's not a joke or whatever, uh, I apologize for taking the stage, Pat. If any of you guys know any unemployed dogs, uh, dogs looking for work, looking for a different career opportunity, we offer benefits, there's time, I don't want to get into all that stuff right now on stage, but uh, we are hiring. So I, I'm Natty Bumpergard, this is Pig. If you guys find me after the show, I'll give you a sticker. <laughs>